Nautilus production presents the Electron Bifurcation, featuring Alvaro, Lisbeth, Fenda, and Timmy. This is Ricardo. He tries to go up the hill, but he can't. Why? Because he doesn't have enough energy to do it. This is what we call an unfavorable situation. But look, now if Ricardo starts from up the hill, he generates so much energy by going down. This is what we call a favorable situation. If Ricardo starts from up the hill, he can use the energy he generated from going down to cycle up the hill again. Apparently, cells are just as smart as Ricardo. Cells are capable to connect a favorable reaction with an unfavorable one. So this is a cell. Cell have three ways to use and transform energy. The first one is called substrate level phosphorylation. Let us zoom into the cell. This molecule needs to be converted into another molecule to perform its duty. Just like a key that needs to reshape to be able to fit the lock. However, this conversion is unfavorable. Just like going up the hill with the bike. The other molecule here is ATP. In this case, the favorable release of the phosphate group is linked to the unfavorable conversion of this yellow molecule. The next type of energy transformation involves electrochemical gradients. Now let's zoom in the membrane of this cell. In the expense of energy, protons are pumped out of the cell by this proton pump. A charge gradient is generated. Then it's really favorable to bring protons inside the cell. This can be used to generate ATP an unfavorable reaction. The last and recently discovered type of energy transformation is electron bifurcation. So let's see what it really is. This is an enzyme where electron bifurcation takes place. Here, electrons are transferred from a donor to two different acceptors, hardoxin and isidoxin. This flavin performs the electron bifurcation. Look at the different energy levels of each carrier that are represented as their height. Since flavin is higher in energy level than the isidoxin here, electrons can just go to the isidoxin in a favorable way. However, as you might imagine, transferring electrons to the hardoxin is not so favorable. Now, the electron bifurcation takes place. Because the flavin lost one of its electrons, it becomes really unstable and goes up into a higher energy level, like a balloon that lost some of its weight and goes up in the air. As the flavin reaches a higher energy level, it can donate the electron in a favorable way. Donating all of its electrons makes flavin lose its energy and return to the previous state. Since hardoxin and isidoxin carry two electrons each, this cycle repeats again. In this way, electron bifurcation allows the transfer of electrons to an acceptor via an unfavorable reaction by connecting it to a favorable one. But the question is, how is this applied in the cell? Why do cells need hardoxin to accept those electrons? This is the hardoxin. After accepting the two electrons, it becomes really energized. Do you remember the cell membrane that we showed you earlier? We told you that the pumping of protons across the membrane requires energy. We see here that the electron transfer by this molecule to isidoxin is not strong enough to allow protons to be pumped out of the cell. But let's see how hardoxin does it. Since hardoxin is really energized, the transfer of electron to isidoxin can release a lot of energy, which is used to pump electrons across the membrane. This is especially important in bacteria that live without oxygen. Cells without oxygen only have isidoxins to accept electrons, thus they need a super strong electron donor like hardoxin. Moreover, hardoxin can help removing protons from inside the cell by converting them to hydrogen gas, which otherwise wouldn't be favorable. This helps us to understand the mechanism of hydrogen producing bacteria. And since electron bifurcation is a reversible process, we can also understand how bacteria are capable of consuming hydrogen. Understanding this mechanism can help us to understand even the most mysterious part of life, or at least to pass our microbial community exam. Thank you for watching. Be like Hardoxin and donate your applause.
to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the like button. To support us, please donate all your money. And your hummus. Mm.